Good evening. Welcome to ORP TV News. I'm Craig Stagner coming to you from the JK Auto Repair Studio. JK Auto Repair is a full service car care provider located in Ozark, Missouri. 2301 West Selmore Road in Ozark, Missouri. Uh, the great people over there. Let them help you with any of your parts, needs, uh, inspections, whatever it is you need. They can help you out. And this is the uh, weekend update uh, for All Parts Auto Savage. Boy, I'm tongue-tied here. I should have woke up earlier. The All Parts Auto Salvage Weekend Race Report. All Parts Auto Salvage with two locations in Springfield. 2600 North Benton is the Salvage Yard. 425 East Kearney is the parts store. Been there almost 50 years. All Parts Auto Salvage can take care of anything you need. Uh, any kind of parts. Let out and Krista and the crew at All Parts Auto Salvage help you fix your car. I want to thank our sponsors as always. JK's Auto Repair, All Parts Auto Salvage, Hillbilly Speedway in Fairgrove, Hodges Tree Trimming, Finkbinder Transfer and Storage, Home Sweet Home Realty, Rochelle Summers Toys for Tots, Appleton Imaging, Sigs and Swigs, DTA Bear Paws and Gloves, Twister Alley Raceway, and Missouri Motocross Hall of Fame. Well, this weekend, unfortunately, we were correct about the weather on Wednesday. It did not cooperate with us at all. Wasn't totally a washout, but not good. Friday night, uh, Humboldt and KC Raceway both had to cancel their events. On Saturday, uh, Central Missouri, Hillbilly Speedway, I-35, Lake Ozark, Monette, Springfield, Nevada, Ozark Raceway Park, Salina, High Banks, uh, Springfield Raceway, Valley Raceway, uh, Lucas Oil also canceled their Saturday night event, and today Mocan had to. However, that doesn't mean that there wasn't some racing, and we'll get into those local results in a minute. However, this weekend was a big one for NASCAR with a double header. The story going into this weekend was Kyle Larson going to make it four in a row. Now, I know he's had four in a row if you count the all-star race but we're talking about four actual events would have made him i believe the only the eighth driver in nascar history to win four in a row well unfortunately last lap tire cuts down on kyle larson or it would have happened instead alex the showman bowman takes the win there he uh, come on strong was definitely he's he's getting better all the time he's a, he's a good driver for sure Second place, KFB. Kyle Busch with a second place finish in this one. William Byron third. Kyle Larson ends up coming in ninth. Uh, it was too bad that he had this flat because this would have made four in a row and it would have made today even more exciting. But right there's your results, your top four Bowman. Bush, Byron, Denny Hamlin kind of, uh, he man, he's just clicking along those uh, top five finishes this year. Ryan Blaney, uh, fifth. Then, Camping World Truck Series on Saturday. John Hunter Nemechek takes the win there. Who do you think gets second? No KFB. Kyle Busch takes a second. Sheldon Creed, Tyler Ankrum, and Austin Hill rounds out your top five with that. Speaking of Austin Sendrick, here he is in the Xfinity race. This was uh, earlier. Austin Sendrick takes the win. Ty Gibbs. Man, that kid is just going to jump right over this Camping World Truck Series, and they're they're pushing him right into this Xfinity. He'll be there full-time next year, my prediction, and then be NASCAR Cup Series part of the time and probably full-time in two years. He finishes second, Justin Allgaier third. Uh, I'm sorry, that's I got the wrong one here. Uh, what do we have here? Ty Gibbs, Justin Allgaier, Noah Gragson, and A.J. Allmendinger. A little while ago, wrapping up this weekend, Kyle Busch, two seconds going into today. He had the second in the uh, truck series, not racing the ARCA series. He's done there. Second yesterday, wins today. Stuck in just no, uh, no fourth gear or just in fourth gear. Either way, it didn't matter. Kyle Busch takes the win. Here's what was really surprising with this is, uh, well... This is how exciting this could have been today. If Larson hadn't had the flat yesterday, had four in a row, today he would have been racing for an all-time record in the modern era of five straight. But he didn't. But a second place finish. He still got four wins on the year. Doing great. Keselowski with a good finish. Harvick back up in the top five. 
may have just been an anomaly, but nonetheless, if you're going to criticize him when he stinks, you got to give it to him. Top five finish, Bubba Wallace, fifth place. Good job there. Moving back to our local racing, 81 Speedway in Park City, Kansas. USRA Mod winner on Saturday night, Tanner Mullins. Tyler Kidwell in the USRA B Mod class. Mini Stock, Jace Reimer. The USAC Wingless Sprint from right here in Nixon, Missouri, Mr. Wesley Smith. And then the IMCA Mod Lights, the Finkbinder Transfer and Storage Big Mover of the Weekend. Trans uh, Finkbinder Moving and Storage, 2215 North Burton. Whether you're moving across town, across the country, let them help you. Uh, they're not just good because they're old. They're old because they're good. Make sure you tell them that uh, Stag sent you over there. Your winner in the Mod Light class, moving up seven spots. Remember last week, I think it was last weekend, he, uh, he didn't win for an odd change. But this weekend, back at it, Dylan Rafferty, Justin Kinder next second. Some more of the Rafferty's there in third place, David, Ed Griggs, and Alex Loveless. So Dylan Rafferty is your Finkbinder Transfer and Storage Big Mover of the Weekend. Now, this in the same event, 81 Speedway, this deserves noting. You had six spots. Kent and Allen moves up here from Chinook, Kansas. But look at this down here. Dozen spots to six. 16 places to move up to seventh. 9 up to the 8th and 10 up to the ninth. Look at that. 16 spots. That's a darn good run through the main. So congratulations to them. Kind of an honorable mention to uh, Brady Lanfear and Peyton Burkhart. Uh, great finish. Spokes BMX, we got the results from Alicia Oldham from Thursday night. Now they were gone uh, out on some regional events this weekend. We'll have those results coming up for you either later today or tomorrow. But from Thursday night... Spokes BMX over in Springfield, Missouri. 11 Intermediate, Case and Myers. 12 Novice was Landon Pentecost. 13 Experts, Savannah Byrie. The 14 Novice, Mark Haas. 15 Intermediate, Micah Collins. 17 to 20 Expert, Tobias Collins. 17 to 20 Women's Cruiser, Case and Myers with the win there. 26 to 30 Cruiser, Shea Connolly. 41 to 45 cruiser Bill Ramsey, 41 to 45 intermediate Brandon Wagner, Bradley Henson, uh, I'm sorry, Braylon Henson takes the five and under novice, Ashley Asher West in the six novice, Zayden Wyatt eight novice, seven intermediate N Nolan Cooper, Olivia Tedford is your nine intermediate winner, and nine novice Andrew Pop. Moving back to the dirt track with the uh, cars. Legit Speedway, West Plains. Surprisingly, the rain did not bother them, didn't affect them. I thought that all that rain moving across that once it rained out, but it must have just moved north of them because Legit Speedway was racing last night. Your hobby stock winner was Chuck Russell. Cam Rank wins your sports mod. Power Eye Super Stock is Tony Anglin. Robbie Moore in your sportsman late model class. Sawyer Krigler is the IMCA modified winner. And then his brother Scott Krigler takes the super late model, so a real good ride home. Uh, I wonder if they ever have any of these bets, uh, whoever finishes first, the other one has to buy, I don't know. But either way, the Krigler boys take a pair of wins, uh, that's good bragging rights for sure. Tri-State Speedway in Pecola, Oklahoma. I uh, talked to one of the, the track announcer there uh, earlier today, and he extended an invitation for us to come see him, and we are definitely going to make that trip over to Pecola, Oklahoma, sooner than later to visit Tri-State Speedway. Your USRA classes, Modified, Lucas Gibbs, b -Mon, Daniel Tarkington, Factory Stock was Chad Abernathy, and Robert Southland is your stock car winner. Congratulations to them. Last night, it was the SRX Series, a superstar racing experience. Again, don't forget, on Saturday nights, uh, I think that's on at 8 o'clock on CBS every Saturday night. This week, they were at Eldora Speed Speedway, and no surprise there, Mr. Eldora, Tony Stewart takes the win. Uh, second was Cody Swanson, and third, Helio Castroneves, your Indy 500 winner from earlier this year. NHRA was supposed to be finished up this afternoon. They are in Norwalk, Virginia. 
this was supposed to be earlier today, but because of rain, it just went to air uh, about 10 minutes ago. So you'll be able, after this, of course, switch over to Fox Sports 2, FS2. That's, you have to get pretty deep on that channel guide, past the sports, through some the uh, news networks, the home show. It's way on down there, but look for Fox Sports 2. That's where the NHRA semifinals and finals is being aired right now uh, from Norwalk, Virginia. Uh, look forward to seeing those results, see if John Force can double up and take win number 154. A kind of a light one this week with all the uh, rain outs. Uh, however, next weekend, as of right now, is looking really good. So expect a lot of racing. That's great because it'll be 4th of July weekend. Uh, a lot of special events. So we look forward to a busy, busy weekend uh, that's coming up. And we'll tell you all about it on Wednesday with all the schedules so you can start making your race plans. And remember, when you hear one of your friends saying, man, who, who finished, uh, what, who won, who, where tracks are racing, by golly, there is only one place to go to find out the results of dirt track, BMX, drag strip, supercross, go-karts, all of it. And that's right here on ORP TV. We couldn't do it without all our sponsors and all of you who spread the word. Uh, thank you so very much. We'll look forward to seeing you back here Wednesday night at 6 p.m. on ORP TV Live on Facebook. Until then, be safe. I'm Stag.